Damakos. When you woke up this morning, sitting on top of your belongings was a letter. You look around to see an out of place group of what could only be your fellow wannabe adventurers sitting at a table. The rest of you are enjoying your drinks when a tiefling approaches the table. I see you all got a letter as well. You must be the ones I'm here to meet. I guess so. I'm Aaron. A sword for hire. <laughs> what I lack in experience, I make up for in enthusiasm. Do you know what this is all about? I don't, sorry. I'm just following the instructions of this letter. But hey, I'm used to following orders. My name's Demokos. I'm a cleric. When I was just 13, my younger sister fell in the local river and nearly died. I couldn't save her, so I prayed to anything that would listen that if they saved her life, I would follow them blindly until the end. Fortunately, Lathander was listening, and I have dedicated my life to him and have been granted minor powers. That sounds a lot like my story, actually. Really? No, but I did want to go next. You see, I am a performer, an artist, a mime, a musician, a player, a thespian. Those are all the same thing. Shh. I am from this small town, and though I did start a busker on the streets, now I am very well known in most of the bars. I received my letter in my tip jar last night. What about you, tall? Mysterious hooded man. The story of my. Thank you very much. Uh, no, seriously, you are too kind. Uh, you probably already know who I am because I'm extremely famous around this continent and beyond. Well, I, I've, I've actually never heard of you. Uh, but for those of you who have been living under a rock for the last 20 years, uh, my name is Fargrim the Great, also known as Fargrim the Just, the Fearless One or the Divine Mage, or the Kraken Killer. <laughs> kraken, you, you've slain a Kraken. Don't interrupt. I also happen to be commander of the Orc Hunting Special Operatives Team, the Tusk Breakers. Two times slayer of a chromatic dragon. Dragons? You've killed two dragons already? For crying out loud, you've been incredibly rude, would you zip it? I also happen to sport the only name that sends the shivers down the spine of the fearsome Lich King, Thranavisk the Cold. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, a Lich King at level one, or, or should I say, sorry, uh, at this stage in your life, you've killed a Lich King. Look, I didn't interrupt your shitty little boring story, did I? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't believe you. Okay, well, I'm okay. telling my story. Okay. I'm just merely introducing myself here as fact. Ah, you folk look like adventurers. Thank the gods for that. Look, if you can slay the vermin that have overrun my tavern, I will give you all one gold piece each. We accept. Where are these rats? Hmm. Oh, there's one now. Okay, here we go. First roll of the campaign. Ooh, natural twin. That's a crit. That does 10 damage, and Fagram is dead. What's him dealt with? Excuse me. Got a weird little scroll with my name on it. Does anyone else? Oh no. My identical brother, Fagram the Great, dead as I live and breathe. Who the hell are you? Oh, you might have heard of me. Uh, my name is Targram the Great, also known as Targram the Just, the Fearless One, oh. the Divine Mage, uh, the Orc Slayer. Hold person! Who are we fighting? Don't let them live! Um, guys, what are we doing? Not you too. 
It's bad enough they're constantly listening. Yes, got one. No, I know we're fighting orcs. I mean, why are we waiting? What do you mean waiting? Oh, Christ, you're distracting me now. Why are we taking turns? Where are we fighting again? And who's taking turns? Us. All of us. We're all just taking turns fighting. Look. Come on. Come on. Well, you gonna heal him? You're waiting for me, aren't you? Cure wounds, writhe, Targaryen, and join the fight. Okay, I'll get up in a moment. Get up! Okay, I'm getting pissed off now! Why can't we just kill them all at once? Um, that's what we're doing? No, we're not! This guy went after Damakos, then you went after him, and then Targaryen. <laughs> See? Well, what is it that you want? We can't do anything else. This is how a fight works. But why can't we do anything else? Why can't we just kill them all at once? Oh, you mean like with a fireball? Wait, are you a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> I mean like that. Well, no, but that's not... You, you can't do it. No, no, no. Well, much oh better that's idea. a genius idea. Oh I think my God. we should do that in the future. Yeah, yeah. I, I just smack people. Just this. fire off spells nice, constantly. Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ouch! 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 Damn it, Targrim! Uh, uh, Come on, man. I got you. No, Ovek. We need you to get your flaming blade active. We need the extra damage. It's fine, I can do both. No, you can't. Uh, yeah, I can. Flaming blade is real quick. Yeah, but it's not a cantrip. So what? Cure wounds takes a little bit of time, but flaming blade is super quick. Ahem. 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 Oh, God damn it, Theron. We don't need a rules lawyer right now. Ladies and gentlemen of the gaming table, the opposing council would have you believe that Cure Wounds and Flame Blade can both be cast in the same turn because one is an action and one is a bonus action. Now, at first glance, this doesn't seem to be an issue. After all, can we skip forward to the bit you have a problem with, please? Of course, Your Honor. I'm not Your Honor, what do you- The Player's I... Handbook, Chapter 10, Spell Casting. Page 202, and I quote, You cannot cast another spell during the same turn except for a cantrip with a casting time of one action. End quote. All right. I will make sure one of them's a cantrip. Fine. <clears throat> no flame blade, I'm afraid. But I'll cast Shillelagh instead. That's a cantrip and a bonus action, and I can do that, right? You may. Great. Shillelagh. And now, I'll cure wounds. Objection! What? You just said that I could do that. Can you please read for me in a loud voice so the stenographer can hear you? What stenographer? The passage that I just quoted. Yada, yada, yada. Except for a cantrip with a casting time of one now, is Shillelagh a cantrip with a casting time of one action? No, no it is not. As you just said moments ago, Shillelagh is a cantrip with a casting time of one bonus action. Therefore, vis-a-vis -vis, hence with, notwithstanding the aforementioned henceforth, and so be it, if it is writ, then thou must abide by it. Fine. I will just cure wounds and not use my bonus action. Objection! You just cast shillelagh. Then I will hit the zombie with the shillelagh and hope that Targum here survives one more round. 
Objection! I swear to the gods I will end you! Player's Handbook, page 275. Shillelagh ends if you let go of the weapon. God damn you! <coughs> Great. Now Targrim's dead. Oh man, that sucks. That's totally unfair to the DM. He totally should have fetched the dice for you, man. Oh no. Oh, Targrim, my identical brother dead. Don't worry. I, Targrim the Great, vow to avenge thee. <laughs> Your wounds. There we are, Wagram. Sorry, Aaron, I'm out. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, Theron, start setting up. We're going to need to camp. Wait. We're not going back. What? No. We're only halfway through the mission. But we're all almost dead. Yeah, we're not continuing. We're going to rest now. What do you mean, rest? I mean, like, not do strenuous activity for... I know what rest means. I mean, do you really think that's all we need right now? Why would it not be? Um, maybe because that's not how bodies work. What do you mean, Kirsty? I'm saying I have deep lacerations to my torso, and I'm in dire need of medical professional a lot of time to recover and heal. Ah, but we're not continuing. Theron's setting up camp now. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Oh, I'm sorry. This does Theron have something in their bag that's going to magically transform into a hospital? No. Then what are you talking about? Why would we set up camp here? We could just go back to town and find a healer. Why would we go back to town when we'll be perfectly fine in the morning? Look, we'll set up camp here and we'll be in tip-top shape in the morning. Oh. Okay, I didn't realise that's enough to fix everything. So, um, these. Long rest. And... Ah. And that's... Ah. Long rest. And that? Kill me! Please! Kill me! Long, Long rest. rest. Oh, okay. Jelleneth just needs a little nappy nap, does she? Okay, fine. Great. Well, sweet dreams to you all. Sincerely hope they're not our last. What's the deal? <clears throat> Let me find. What, you know that wolves are attracted to blood? Oh, no, no. Everything's fine. <clears throat> Sleepyhead, there's a big dungeon to explore. God damn it. Could you slain? I can shoot that guy. Couldn't you just shot him from over there? Uh, well, yes, but now I'm hidden and I, I can use it to my advantage to do sneak damage. You say so. Okay. Well, move. Will do. Now, move, move now. What? Move! What do you say? Move! Now! Oh my gosh, evac- What? Move! What? Step aside. Evacuate. Uh, take a step to your left. I don't know. How many more ways can I say it? I've already said that I will move. What are you waiting for? I have the clear shot right now if you just get your ass out of my way. Oh, you want me to move right this second? Um, let me think. Yes, we. We, 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 we. But it's not my turn. What are you talking about? Uh, I mean, it's not my turn, so I can't move. What are you talking about? It's not my turn. It hasn't yet gotten to me in the order yet, right? I'm still waiting for my time to act. How many more ways can I say it? Oh my god, Ovak, oh, okay. Let me commit this another way for your pea-sized brain. I'll give you pea-sized brain. Are you doing anything right this second? No. Are your legs still working? Things like it. Do you agree that it would be beneficial for the entire party if you stood aside so I could shoot and kill that guy? Of course. Great. Then 
Move! Rogue, you have taken too long to act, so you take the dodge action. Oh my god! Thanks, Ovac. Appreciate it. You know you could have used the ready action. Uh, player's handbook, page 193. You know you could shut up. Oh, just saying. There it is. <laughs> Margrim! You've just been killed. You said in the tavern that you had skills. Get up! Produce flame! Well. Well what? Shoot him! I can't. It's not my turn. Okay, Lavinia. Let's go through this one more time. If a book looks cursed, it probably has a curse, or it's jinxed or something. Right. Right, so what do we do? Check it for traps. Yes, what do we not do? Throw it at Jelinith and say catch. Uh, uh, help me! Correct. Now, I think we got pretty messed up. So, Demacus? Is Wargrim okay? No, but I, Wargrim, vow to avenge my brother. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, fine. Uh, Theron, start setting... Oh, sorry. Um, Ovac, set up camp. No, 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 no. That's, that's my thing. Yeah, normally, but you got more messed up in that fight more than almost anybody else. No, no, I'm perfectly fine, thank you. Perfectly fine? You were knocked unconscious. Uh, yeah, and then I rolled on net 20, and now I'm back on 1 HP. What's the problem? I, I don't know what that is. What, what do you mean? Oh, uh, um, then I got really lucky and now I'm clinging on to life just fine. Exactly. So you shouldn't wander into the wilderness where you could be killed by all manner of creatures. Ovax should do it. No, 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 no. I'm a valued member of this party and I'll set up the camp, thank you. But you'll have to chop wood, set up the tents, start a campfire. Yeah, and? And you're almost dead. <laughs> I'll have you know that there is nothing in the rules that says I have to act any differently just because I'm on low HP. What if you need to kill a deer? Okay. What if you need to investigate the area for a safe clearing? We are a quarter mile southeast of the river crossing. Uh, there's a pack of migrating deer 600 paces to the west and it looks like uh, about four days ago a pack of orcs came through this area. Any other questions? What if you need... Da, 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 da. Look, just face it, I'm every bit as good on 1 HP as I am on full health. If you don't like it, take it up with the game designers, okay? I shouldn't have to act any differently just because of your need for immersion. I can think of one downside. What? Ah! Why would you... Ah. Mm, shit. Oh, he's annoying me. That should sort him up for the night. Well, technically, page one on the player's handbook. I'll be conscious again in 1d4 hours, so... We'll see. Oh, goody. Lavinia's come to rescue me. Are you okay, Ovac? Did they hurt you? No, I'm fine. Just took my things and tied me up with my own rope. Ooh, a cool sword. Hey! That's mine! Is it? Because it was on the goblin I killed, so I think that makes it mine. Lavinia? Hey, no, those are the rules we set for looting. No, I mean, could you please come and untie this knot? You've got the nimblest fingers here. Oh, sure. There we go. Hey, what in the nine hells do you think you're doing? Relax, I'm not going to stab you yet. I'm just cutting the rope. Yeah, my rope. Huh? This is my rope. So? So you just cut it. Yeah, you were tied and now you're not. Your finger's broken or something. You couldn't pick a knot. This is quicker. Why are we in a rush? There are no goblins around. You just killed them all. What, I... Do you have any idea how much a rope costs? One gold piece for 50 feet of hemp and 10 gold pieces for 50 feet of silk with a weight of 10 pounds and 5 pounds respectively. Player's handbook, page 150. So. What he said. Thanks, Theron. See? Ten gold pieces this rope cost me. That's more than we made in the last two jobs combined. Well, maybe more than you made. Look, I don't know why you're getting so heated about this whole art. Maybe because we've been tracking the centaur tribe for about a week now, meaning we're at least a week away from anywhere I could buy another. I'm sorry. I'll take extra long to untie you next time. A minute. It would have taken you, like, a minute. Now, pay up. What? What do you think? Pay me ten gold pieces 
for a new rope. Oh, come on. No, no, no. That's outrageous. Lavinia, you did make her pay for that dagger she lost. Hey, OK, no, that was different. She threw that on purpose. My poor rope. Fine. Just think in the future. What are you doing? Casting mending on my rope. You have mending? Uh, yes. Then why were you getting so eated at me about the rope? Because it takes time to cast a spell. How long? A whole minute. Okay. Now I am going to stab you. Oh God, Aaron, come here. Didn't make it through that trap corridor too easily, did you, huh? <laughs> Perhaps if you learned how to fly like I did. Not now, Zlagrim. All I'm saying is it took him too long to catch up. Yeah, because you left us to scale that wall with no way up. I don't see why I should always have to carry you. You're well, unlike you, Yargrim. Zlagrim, keep up. Zlagrim? When did that one happen? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Unlike you, Aaron here recognises that we're a team. I, unlike you guys, can survive alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Slagram, you genuinely don't think you need us? I literally cannot think of a situation where I would. I mean, anything that you guys have, I know that I've got a spell that'll do better. I have action surge. I have haste. I have slow fall. I have feather fall. I have destroy undead. <laughs> I have fireball. I, I, and guess what? It works on the living too. <laughs> okay, Zlogin. Come and help me pick this lock, because I'm struggling with it. Oh, if only I had a spell that would help me get through a locked door. Oh, come on, you don't need to waste uh, your... Uh, uh. He doesn't need us or our respective expertise. Oh no! It's awfully mildly dark in here, like a Sunday afternoon. Thank God Alan, our earthly human, has bought primitive light sticks. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh look, there's a skeleton. He's gonna come up and attack me now. How did I know? I don't know. Do I have divine sense? No. Do I have something more powerful? Yes. Common sense! <laughs> Right. <clears throat> hey, guys! Uh, What's up, Zalgrim? Uh, hello, guys! <laughs> hey, do you want to come in here? Yeah, I think I've definitely proved my point. Uh, I think it would be quite arrogant of me to continue on. No, 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 you're quite right. I think we'd only slow you down. Say, what did you find in the chest? Oh, it's, it's amazing! Come in, check it out! Please, quickly come in, check it out, it's amazing, look at all these lovely colours, please, please, quickly, quickly. You know, I, I think I will go have a look. Ah, me too. Oh, very nice stuff. Oh, hey guys, sorry I'm late, what have you been looting? Oh no. My identical brother Zlagrim the Great, dead as I live and breathe. No worries. I, Ptagrim, with a silent P, the great, vow to avenge thee. Are you sure this is going to work? Well, no, I'm not 100% sure. I'm more like 85% sure. I might like 85% is more like your 200. Well, that's hurtful. But that's as good as you're gonna get, unfortunately. Crunch. What are we doing? You have to sacrifice your blood to the bone. Oh, why? Because the trap requires the essence of Furbolg. Oh, right. What trap? Oh, for the gods sake. Kyothi, pull his hair out. That should do the trick. Don't. Ouch. Yeah! 
Yes, we did it. It worked. What did we do? You worked out my final puzzle. Though I must say, it took you longer than I expected. I'm glad you didn't die to any of my traps. That wouldn't have been a satisfactory conclusion to your... story. Who are you? And what have you done with the children? An excellent question, Damacus. Perhaps you'd like to ask Crunch. What? Yes, I'm sure that Crunch would love to fill you in on who I am and who I used to be before the fire incident. What is he talking about, Crunch? Beats me. Oh, forget. Yes, you see, after the fire ravaged my library, I took the wisdom I had learned from the monks and vowed never to let naivety get the better of me again. And thus I became... Gredgelo the Wise. Yes. <clears throat> Never again would I be known by my true name, Peter von Stadberry. Yeah? Are you freaking kidding? <clears throat> ah, Crunch. It's good to see you again, old friend. Oh, we've met, have we? Oh, are you kidding me? I'm your mentor. We have like five pages of backstory together. Your, your family, they died to the hag, and then, you know, you, you were raised by a librarian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that does sound familiar. Hey, wasn't there something about a centaur as well? Something about a centaur? You've just been in a whole arc about a centaur. Are you kidding me? Crunch, we literally rode here on centaurs. Oh. No, I don't think I was here for that bit. It was this session of the Roll Initiative. <laughs> You'll never find Sarah Luth's true location. That secret dies with me. Who? <laughs> never mind. <laughs> All right, he's finally dead. But let's not forget, it was his magic that was holding this whole place up. We've got a matter of minutes to get what we came here for and get out. Yeah. What did we come down here for? Hey, guys. There's a badass great sword over here. Hey, no! That sword is clearly cursed. Wait till the Vanya's had a chance to inspect it. That's actually a pretty good idea. The Vanya, get on it. Right after I take these diamonds. No, trek first, then loot. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna cast Prayer of Healing. If anyone needs health or stamina to get back through the lava wall, stay within 30 feet of Yeah, I'm good on health, so I'm just gonna check the sword. No, no, hey! Wait till we remove the curse on it. <laughs> All right, everybody's got something to do. Let's do this. All right, guys, we're about to get into the whole thing about looting and checking for traps and stuff. Uh, the session's been going for quite a while. I think we're just kind of wind it up there and I'll see you guys same time next week. Cool. 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 I saw the photos online of your trip to Fiji. Oh, what's up? Oh, it's so on. cool. Yeah, it was. It was amazing. Hi, man. Hey, How man. You been? You're good. Fiji is every bit as beautiful as you hear. I've uh, heard that about Fiji. I'm <laughs> so jealous. What? Nah, man. You moved house. That's just as much fun as a trip on holiday to Fiji. Almost as fun as the flu I got right after. Oh, I heard about that. Are you okay now? Yeah, it took me like two, three months to recover, but oh, I'm okay. Yeah, it just works really hard. I know so. what you mean. I've been slammed for the last three months. It's crazy. Sorry, guys, I'm late. I'm, I was just in the toilet. That's all good. Um, I think we're all here. Should we crack back into it? Yep, all right. let's go back into um, it. All right. <clears throat> now, what were we doing? We'd just been given a letter by a mysterious benefactor. <sighs> No, buddy, the letter was at the beginning of the campaign. I, I think we're looking for a book or something. Right. No, we were fighting vampires in the Feywild, I think. No, that's the Sunday campaign. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was an evil wizard guy, right? And uh, I think I remember something about, you know, going through a lava wall. Or... Hey, guys. There's a badass great sword over here. Sweet. Grab it then, yeah? Oh. That's right.
much for watching. If you enjoyed it, consider watching some more videos and subscribing. Also, we actually play D&D &D on a separate YouTube channel. There's a playlist over there. Go check it out. And if you like it, maybe subscribe to that channel too. Now, can I have 10 gold pieces for taking some bloody long? Thank you. <laughs>